Canva Whiteboard Canva Whiteboard Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, welcome! In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to use Canva Whiteboard to create your own whiteboards for your work and education purposes. You can also create brainstorm uh, whiteboards and much more. So let's get into it. The link for Canva will be given in the description down below. You can go ahead and click on the link to sign up for Canva.com. Canva.com is an online designing tool that allows you to create presentation, edit videos, create logos, and much more. Today, we will be checking out Canva Whiteboard, how to use it. So let's get into it. Once you sign up or sign into your Canva, this is where you get, this is our main dashboard. Inside our dashboard, you will get the whiteboard option right here, or you can also search for whiteboards in the search bar given. And we can also navigate to the whiteboards right here in the template section. It will take me to whiteboards on Canva. Canva offers a lot of different types of whiteboards that we can create. Here we have some of the templates available for the whiteboards. We have simple type of whiteboards that we can create for marketing and team management. Then we have brainstorm whiteboards, flowchart whiteboards, team whiteboards and planning whiteboards. Now it depends on you whatever type of whiteboard you want to create on Canva. You will simply select that template and get started. Let's get started with the simplest one for the sake of the video and I'm going to select this one. This is the inside of our Canva and this is our main canvas right here. You can first of all change the name for your whiteboard right here at the top. This is the view of a whiteboard that we have selected. You can see we have different templates available right here at this side of the screen and I can go ahead and uh, maybe choose from any other type of whiteboard or I can get started with the one that I already have. Here in our canvas, you will be able to actually zoom in and out of your whiteboard like this and use all the space that is available. Similarly, we can scroll up and down with this cursor right here. At the bottom, you will find notes and timer. There is a timer available for our whiteboards uh, because we can go ahead and now create a task in our whiteboard and start a timer. So all you do is you select the time that you want to go for and then you set a timer and it starts. This way, if you are having a task for a team member or if there is an idea that needs to be discussed right away, you can use this timer very efficiently. And then we can add different types of elements to our whiteboard, of course. You're going to navigate to this panel right here on your Canva. We have templates and then we have elements. When it comes to a whiteboard, we can add different sticky notes. We can add different lines and shapes. Whiteboard graphics are available. We have like a whole new collection created just for whiteboard graphics on Canva. We have simple graphics available, stickers photos, videos, audio, chart, tables, frames, grids, and different collection for our whiteboard. So you can use any of the elements from here and add it to your canvas. Then we also have upload option, text, project, style, logos, and apps that are, of course, the default options on Canva. Let's say I want to add a sticky note to my whiteboard. So all you need to do is just select the one that you want to go for. You can also click on see all and it'll show you all of the different types of sticky notes available. I'm going to go ahead and add this one. It will be added here. We can move our element anywhere we like. And then we get these options. You can see, first of all, we can actually make it bigger or smaller accordingly and then if i want to add another sticky note above it then i will just click on this plus and it will be added right here then i can add one here then right here and maybe another one right here this saves us a lot of time and we will be able to organize our sticky notes better and it will help me create like a bunch of different uh, lines or if i am discussing an idea i can quickly add sticky notes um, instead of just going right here again and again so this is how you add a note here we can of course click on it and add a comment 
click on add comment and you will be able to add a comment right here for instance once your comment is written you're gonna enter comment and it will be added similarly we can copy a sticky note from here and we can also customize the text that we have written on our note to add the text you will simply navigate to the text section on canva add a heading subheading or a body text mostly for the sticky notes we will be going for a body text or a subheading then we can of course add a bunch of other elements for instance i can now go back to my elements here i can add a photo we can add different lines and shapes especially the arrows we use arrows a lot when we are working within our um, whiteboard so you can actually add arrows like this so just select the arrow it's added and then you're gonna place it here similarly another arrow and i'm gonna go ahead and place it right here we can zoom in to check all of the boards everything click on any of the sticky node and again you will be able to customize it you can add a text uh, from here and we can write a simple text as well for instance i want to add a heading right here so i'm going to click on add a heading and place it right here and i'm going to call it new ideas and place it here similarly we can add different decoratives if we want from our elements here we can add some whiteboard graphics as well for instance there is an idea that i liked so i can use this one we can make it a little bit smaller and place it right here there are a lot of different graphics available to use for the whiteboard using a whiteboard on canva is really easy and you will be able to create a professional whiteboard for your work or your team we can also share our whiteboard with our team members and invite people to actually create whiteboards with us click on the share option right here and all you need to do is just give access to your team members or invite someone with their email address you can also download the whiteboard by clicking right here and as a png or a pdf file so this brings us to the end of the video. The link for Canva is given in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out right now. And this way you can go ahead and create your project, whiteboards, meeting uh, whiteboards and more on Canva very easily.